Happy New Year and welcome to a new year, a new season of Recapping the Arts. I'm Scott Aaron Martell and look who it is, everybody. To the right of me. No, this is to the left of me. I don't me. know. The it doesn't matter. Insane, uh, you know, so it's I'm Judy H. Paxman. How are you doing? Exactly. The H stands for I was horrific. in the library this week, just this week, and uh, your, one of your volunteers, Elizabeth Wager, <laughs> watching her run around, she stubbed her toe and yelled in the library at the top of her voice, Judy H. Paxman. Is this a mild oath that the kids are picking up? Yeah, Is well, that... all the kids on the street are saying it. I'm sure that they're, when my name comes up, there's an oath involved. You're back, and some people are going to be pleasantly surprised. Back in what? Oh, here. Back oh, here. here. Yes, back, yes. What do you mean, oh, yeah, back yeah, in yeah. what? Yeah. Well, that's, you know, a final Good episode. Good Lord. This is my final episode again? Final yes. episode for the final, for yes. the second final time? I, yeah. We can get back to that um, at the end. <laughs> yeah. I want to address that. But uh, we had an Arts Council meeting on Monday. We did. Yes. We did. Yeah, it was exciting. I had my trifocals on, and I was trying to take minutes on my little iPad. So I didn't really see anybody because I couldn't tell what You're fascinated to with today's date. I am. Which I am. is, tell the, explain to the folks what today it's is. It's 0110 which is very exciting to me. 01. 01. 10. 2020. Yeah, it's January 10th. I mean, to most people, but I like That's the way. That's when we're filming. I like the way the zeros work. It's kind of exciting. It's a pattern or not. I don't know. Anyway. Did you get a count of how many people are at this uh, first there meeting? Were 15, of the year? There were 15 people at the meeting. We only had one board member absent. Um, this is Mr. Benton, who was working on other things around town. But, and, but even more exciting than the number of people there was that Allie and Jenny Boren brought in their homemade garlic bread, which was still warm. Oh, my God. It was delicious. It was delicious. It was delicious. And um, in a, we will probably talk about um, artist announcements, announcements down the road. But in case we don't, you can purchase her bread through Jenny's Jam's bread subscription. So that's Allie Boren. That is a cool that's, little idea when I saw is. that because they have different ones. Yeah. Each. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a different bread each week. Yeah. Yep. And she's already got the the schedule, the yeah. calendar of yeah. different breads Soft pretzels through March. Next, so yeah. So she bakes the bread and delivers it fresh on each Sunday. Um, so uh, J January thirteenth, soft pretzels. I don't know what a pizza star is, but that sounds really good. Cinnamon rolls on February 17th. <gasps> and garlic bread will make its reappearance on February 24th. Ooh, herb bread. We're going to have to <gasps> grab something to eat bread. at the Travel Cup after this is oh, taped. It's really good. Orange and chocolate rolls. Yeah, it was delicious. Anyway. Can, I, buy, can buy I ask a, a question? Is um, Joanne not a board member? Joanne Parawriter? No, yeah. She stepped back last okay. she stepped back she I didn't realize and Anita's attend. not either Anita's not no Anita hasn't been a board member I never for a couple I did years. not know these Anita things Anita has grandchildren now and those are taking up all of her Mondays early oh. happy birthday Anita yes Anita yay well by the time this airs it'll be after happy yes. birthday yes well belated happy yeah. birthday Anita yeah. Yeah. congratulations on turning 29 again now the so they were absent Van Joe was a little late a little should late. we announce this gaming epidemic now that seems to be I think taking over head. our town. Well, it was, it was uh, every time someone wasn't was it was mentioned that someone wasn't there or that they were late. Um, some very uncouth person said uh, it was due to gaming. I am pretty sure that that's the issue. But if you don't want to talk about that, we can move on. I, we what's move on? going What's going on with oh the uh, arts council? Well, a whole we're going to turn five this year. We are five years old now. What does a five year old do? They kind of get in trouble often, <laughs> so we're right on track. Um, You've been doing that with the arts council for five years I have, now. I have. Or four. Yeah, no, five. I've yeah. been, I'm here from the beginning. I'm one right, of the founders but you've, there. We're going, you, we haven't oh, we're not, been we're, You haven't hit five, five yet. We haven't yes. hit five. We're going to be turning five years old very soon, this many. Um, so, you know, we're talking about all the, we talked about our calendar coming of planning for, at this event, at this meeting, and we have a lot of stuff going on. We've already got, um, you know, the first Mondays of every month, we have our Arts Council meeting. The first Thursdays of every month, we have a library art workshop. There's a first Thursday workshop at the library. The first Saturdays of the month is art journaling. The fur the second Tuesdays of the month is also art journaling. Art which journaling. Which I went expanded. to the Saturday yeah. edition, the new the Saturday, Saturday edition, edition. Very exciting. which was pleasant. Yeah, yes. it was very pleasant. 
Um, so they're always pleasant. Chris Daniel, you know him? I do know him. He's done some nude modeling. We'll talk about nude modeling. We'll get there. Sure. Yeah, we don't want to. Um, but thank you for putting that picture in my head. <laughs> um, it was already, I heard stories. I believe it was already in your head at one time. <gasps> he does anyway. have a tendency to show me paintings. Um, anyway, uh, second Thursdays are the writers group. And now hold, hold up. Just wait a second. I attended a writers group last night. Yes. And there was a noticeable absence there. That would be you. Well, I was at, Gaming. I was not gaming. I was, I think, the opposite of gaming, or because if if gaming equals fun, this is definitely the opposite. I was at another meeting. It was the Swanton Enhancement Project Steering Committee meeting because I wanted to go to introduce uh, Michelle Nordberg, who has come to a few of our Arts Council meetings. Of course, she got there before me, and I didn't have to, and I got there late, so I didn't have to do any inter inter uh, introducing. Ex but. Explain to uh, I, the name sounds familiar. What does Michelle do? Michelle is new, newish to our area, and she has one of those brains that just likes to organize things and make stuff happen. So she falls, plus she's actually very artistic, even though she doesn't think she is. But she's she's wonderful. Like someone I know. Yeah. Well, no, I, I admit that now. I admit I've I've I admit that now. So anyway, I was there. It was great. We we're talking about the um, twenty twenty visioning meeting That's that a, they're going to be having, which is our instead of an arts council meeting. Pay on attention, the, folks. Yes, pay this, attention. Is a, this is this is huge. Uh, what day is it on? F Monday, February third. Yes. Is, would be when we starting have Starting at 5.30. Starting at 5.30, there is a Swanton Enhancement Project visioning... Visions of Swanton. Visions of Swanton celebration at the Central School in Swanton. And this will be an opportunity for people to say where, where they want to see Swanton go in the next five years. So it's very similar to the um, community visit we have. It's sort of a follow-up from that. Very exciting stuff. There'll be food, which so I'm extremely excited about. It's going to be a combo of the Swanton Arts Council and the Swanton Enhancement. No. 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 This is a Swanton Enhancement. We're, ha we're going to that instead of having our a regular annual strategic planning meeting because we're part of Swanton and art is in Swanton. So instead of us having a our February strategic planning meeting to discuss what we do, we're taking our February strategic planning meeting and joining forces with the Swanton Enhancement Project. <laughs> that's what I just. That's what I just we're, said. We're we're part of the Swanton Enhancement Project, we, so it's yeah. We are part of that. I didn't know that. Well, I didn't either, but we are again. So oh, thank yay. It's um, all confusing. It is to confusing. Me. Well, you know, it's a. It, uh, yeah, we're part. We're it's all. It's all it, one are people, Swanton. Is everybody going to get it's along all, there all at this? Because there's food. Yeah, it's food. It'll be food, and there'll be planning. And people who doesn't want to tell people how they want to see things work in the future. So it'll be very well, exciting. <laughs> well, you, I just had this vision with you singing and dance, kind of <laughs> dancing. Will you be performing this song? With the Wild Boomers the wild at the uh, Swanton Art Spectacular. The planning Will you is sing that song? No. It's all ones. No, I'll mention it to Scott Rayum, though, who's heading up the Wild Boomers. Um, that would be funny if we could have a theme song or something it's like... It's all one swan. All I one think swan. you just We're wrote it. We're all a little it. awkward, and here we are banging on our drums, and I can't play a tune, but that's okay. Yeah, it could be interesting. Um, I'll take that under advisement. All one swan. We need to get this all recorded. One swan well, it's, it's being recorded I'll, right I'll now. I'll work on it. I'll it's write, been I'll write recorded. The, I will. It's all one swan. Is awkward. that how it went? That rhymes with awkward. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to think about that. I'll, yes. Okay, there's going to be an app for that. Anyway, so moving onward, writers group, second Thursdays. I couldn't go because at the other meeting, which was a great meeting, but I was 13 people at the writers group oh, last wow, night. Nice. And a good mix of, um, and there wasn't necessarily, I, I always want to say sci-fi, but I don't actually think there Fantasy? was any no. mem memoir-esque type stuff. I shared um, a song. I haven't shared uh, song lyrics in oh. a while, but I read one of those. Um, and j Yeah, memoir-esque and, po and poetry. Oh, cool. Poetry. Sir Richard has a book out. I know. I know. It's com I don't know if it was coming out or in the process of coming out or is having to say come one out. I will love, stop hitting the table. I'm hitting the table. Love is. is. Love is? is that's what, yeah. Oh, that was that's one of his um, QR code things. Though. Yeah, and I think that's also the title of his entire book, it's, which I think he wasn't quite sure, but um, the offer was put forward by Becky to sell copies of that at the library. Oh, excellent. We should definitely have a book release party. Oh, that would be I awesome. I believe so, too. Book, Get release. A, book release. You may see him in, a, in an hour or so. 
Okay. Sir Richard of Morris. Yeah, he's amazing. Um, at and he should probably be next up on counseling. I think now because I, I know thought, that wait, Tom. Hold Bat the no, 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 fort. not like the next up. The next, next up. Okay. So Nancy, is this Doctor Nancy, Nancy thing Nancy still going Fuller, on? Yep. Tom Benton is going it's to be. It's been rumored for getting close to a year. Date is set. The date is set for filming. When is it? Do Monday. you have it? This month coming I Monday. So yes. I might be here just to make sure it goes down. It's going to go down because. So Tom Benton is the um, interviewer for counseling, and it's about what's going on in the council, and he's um, going to be interviewing Dr. Nancy Fuller. And I think Sir Richard Demores would be the next one to do. I have suggested I think that and that would be quite amusing. I suggested after Monday's meeting that Van Joe would be a good... Van Joe would be a very good... Um, I think those know, two personalities yep, yep. I had would. sent Tom a list uh, of people. Uh, by moving on. Moving on. Other things that are recurring bi monthly the Art Nook Showcase. So we have a new artist in February, and that's going to be David Winchester. Right now, you're still up I'm for still about up. three weeks. Stuff, yes, which is good. So I appreciate all the Your people. Your stuff's still uh, selling like yeah. hotcakes? Yeah. So I like have a nail on the wall. I haven't even had a chance to put anything up in this last space. So I'm like, thank you to everybody who has bought, who have bought items. I really appreciate it, but I don't have any more. So <laughs> I. <laughs> I have to slow down so I can make some more. Uh, but uh, when is he going to be on there? Sunday, 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 February 2nd, Groundhog's Day, from 4 to 6 p.m. We'll be having the opening reception for David Winchester and his amazing art. He's, he's amazing. So he's Just also judging on the way that the weather has gone like this in the last, like, two, mm -hmm. three days, I think we're in for, like, probably, like, 20 more like weeks winter? of winter. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. Well, it's we'll know. It'll be Groundhog's April. Day. We can talk about it at that party. Um, and also David Winchester and Joanne Parra Ryder are looking at, down the road, they're trying to figure out the details of doing a glass mosaic um, stained glass mosaic class. So that'll be hopefully coming up in the near future. That'll be very exciting. Other events? You know, that'll be held at the library most yes, likely? Yes, they plan on holding that at the library. Uh, single events that we've got planned. Uh, life drawing coming to you on Thursday, January 30th. This is a pilot event, um, If but if it goes well, we'll consider doing it on a recurring basis. So the little good. bit that I saw when it was discussed at the meeting mm -hmm. on Monday, I just don't have a feeling I, this is going to go well at all. Like what? It, people couldn't keep their composure just talking about it, and the event hasn't even started yet. I'm nervous well, for like people, everybody involved. No, no, it'll be very professionally done. We've got it figured, most of it figured out. Um, but there's a little bit of nerves. Of ner this, you know, you get that nervous excitement when people get nervous. They make jokes and laugh. But and le just let's what face it. What are you? What? I'm going to blush. What would the art purple. council? On Monday, the people that were there, what would they possibly be nervous about? Oh, they were laughing at me. Are you doing it? What am I? I'm not modeling. <laughs> That's no. what I'm saying. Like, what, where's the nervous coming from? I'm shy. And you have to, this is something you feel like you have to oh do? Oh, my gosh. I have done, I have done some uh, life drawing before where I've sketched people. And when you Chris have Daniel? A, no. When you have a model who... Who is holding their pose for us? You you can really you can really get some better quality and you of of a drawing and you learn how to how the body looks and it just elevates your sketching abilities. So really, it can elevate your art. It's a wonderful practice. There's nothing like it in the area. So we're very excited. Katie Foster. Katie I had Foster. to drop her name in first time yep. of the year. She's um it was she's the project lead for that. I'm assisting her with that. It'll be at the library. January 30th. It's a, we're hoping to have a nude model, but it may, they may be clothed or partially clothed. We're still working out who the model will be for that. It's very exciting, um, you know, bringing a little bit of actual, an, it's another creation time that we're trying to add. It's low cost. We have a $5 suggested fee, and if you want to um, tip the model, that's appreciated. Um, so I think, I think it'll be a nice event. Um, it'll be a two hours from 7 to nine on January 30th. The, we have the youth, the spring youth art show is going to be, it's turning five. It's our fifth annual. And it's a, um, it's going to be a whole week, a week long oh, event. It's going to be a whole week. We're so excited. Nicole Gadwa is doing this week long thing. We'll have the opening reception on Friday, March 20th. And you will get to also see at that time, all of the 
emerging artists who are entered into the Emerging Artist Award. High school seniors in uh, MVU and the MVU district, please start, pay attention because the uh, Emerging Artist Award application will be out very shortly. If you're seeing this and you're not sure where to find it, just send an email to the Swanton Arts Council and we will send you the, um, the application. We really, really, really want to see your work. We've got some great prizes this year and um, we're hoping to announce the winner of that at the Swanton Arts Spectacular. Probably then too. But before that, at the final, the, the last day <clears throat> of the show on March, on Saturday, March 28th, so that you can bring your family in and see the, the beautiful artwork. So there'll be like a, a small awards. A small awards presentation. Different than the opening yeah, so night it'll be, it'll be the ceremonies. It'll be the closing ceremony. So it'll be very exciting. Anyway, very, very exciting. Uh, who do you think is going to win? I don't even know who's going to enter, so who knows? <laughs> I, just, I know so many people who I'm like, who did I, who, oh, what's her name? Uh, this is Grace, killing Grace Kinney? Grace Kinney. Grace Kinney, Kinney yes. Oh She's so good. She's so good. And there's, and there's others, and that's the thing that's so amazing is sometimes I'm like, where's this person been hiding? We see this amazing artwork, and we're like, where? I didn't even know you were out there. How did we miss this? Uh, this the amazing art. Excellent um, public speaker too. She reads at the. Oh mat. really? Oh, yeah, oh, really? oh wow! Yes. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Um, the, uh, spring st Spring Strictly Handmade Craft Show or Craft Sale will be on Saturday, April fourth, and Janet Suave is leading that. The Swanton could Arts be two different locations if enough tables are sold. Wrong. It could be two different locations if we can get somebody to who is willing oh, to step forward to manage. To the second location. Because can I nominate Van Joe? No. You can voluntold Joe. <laughs> you, if, if Joe wanted to do <coughs> it, that would be great. And I'm sure that we would offer him a free table or something to do that. I don't know. But that's a Janet thing. I mean, uh, yeah, let's stay yeah, out stay of out, this. Stay let's out of that. let Janet also, do Janet. Yeah, let's, and she does a great job. She got a cool new haircut. She got her hair cut short. She looks really I awesome. I haven't seen her, I think, she since the different. last craft. Fair. She sent me a picture. It was really cute. Um, Swanton Art Spectacular is scheduled for Saturday, September 12th, and we're already getting registrations for that. That was, like, so weird. Um, so, I've got so weird. one performer already, like, locked in with a time and everything. Okay. But, awesome. I mean, I'm not looking And the for... Wild Boomers will be opening the... Oh, yeah, so I've got two, and you'll yeah, be singing yeah, that yeah. one Swanton, one love, one Swanton Well, you know, I think, I, I think that just, uh, it has some merit to actually um, try to... To write a song. What you were just singing, I think, is like had you that just popped out of your head, or have you been well, singing no, this no, in no, your car? No, 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 no. My there's a lot of things Dream. going. There's all these things going on in my head, and the kids are pulling about out. about everybody yeah. unifying in yep, Swan. That's all it. the oh, all the warring tribes. All, so that's like so that the the repeating thing when we say we're all one Swan and we all work together. That's when we all take our drumsticks and start hitting the person next to us. <laughs> no. I'm glad you didn't bring drumsticks. No, I you. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't. Oh well, because when my my stump fiddle that I play, yes. I don't use a drumstick. I have a big wooden spoon. In the in the hit video clip of you playing, was that was that your? No, that was Scott's. That one wasn't okay. really mine. Okay, so I side, haven't so. seen. Do you do you own? Do you? Have I'm in the it, process like, of making one. Possession? Okay. I'm in the yes. Um, and. Other things that we were talking about, but they're like way ahead. Halloween in the park display. We think it's going to have <laughs> oh a few. Oh my goodness! Did we have just a... have Halloween? Well, it's calendar planning for 2020. It's not 2019 anymore. Them days are gone. Did you know? Did you know that the year of the salmon was 2019? And I just this last night at like eight o'clock sent in the absolute last final form to get that off. Of oh my, my goodness! I thought you were going somewhere else. I thought you were doing. You had just received a grant to do the Year of the Rat. No, 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 no. It's a 2020 is Year of Women's Suffrage, which... I thought, didn't I see somewhere that it was a Year of the Rat? It is a Year of the Rat. Well, it's, like a lot, it's also probably the Year of Cheese. I don't know. Speaking of cheese, uh, Wednesday. You know what we're doing Wednesday? No. It's the Macaroni and Cheese Cook. Oh, it's a Mac, Mac Down at the library. It's a Macaroni and Cheese Cook-Off. That'll be very cool. There'll be prizes. Are you making... You have to you, you have to beat mine before you can actually. I've win. heard all these like big, big stories coming out of your mouth, but you. So I just, you're making your mac My and cheese will be cheese, there. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. how can you beat mine if it's not there to test? So anyway, 
Uh, other things we talked about at our meeting were the art class task force. So there we've got Joanne Parawriter and Heather Wichkowski who are putting together um, Heather's got this concept of a form, and she's actually put it out there. It's still in process of getting worked out. Can I warn you right now? This talk right now, what you're doing, killed our show last uh, in December. What do you mean? It's just, it's more, um, it's something that's not done yet. I was segueing into something, okay. so thank you. <laughs> All right, go thank ahead. Thank you for your Sorry, feedback. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so they're working on making more art classes. So here's the art classes that we actually have planned right now. Okay, so we're, all right. Okay, watercolor skills class. That's on February 6th. Mike that's Barkum. Mike Barkum. He's doing a dramatic sunset on water. It's beautiful, actually, what he's doing. Uh, Pre-registration pre is required. It's $35, and you get, when you get to, what you leave with is you leave with the pan of watercolors. You leave with, like, three or four different brushes and a watercolor sketch pad that's got a whole bunch of pages on it, really nice, 138-pound paper that you can, you know, so continue to uh, practice your skills. That's very exciting. There's going to be a dot mandala class with Lori Mandigo on March 5th, and the tickets will go on sale for that soon. We're talking about um, a loom knitting class down the road that hasn't been done yet, but it's, but it's in the works. We've mentioned the other classes that... We just had a scroll work class, and that was very exciting. And we're now added on is Saturday, the 18th of Saturday. It's Saturday the 18th. Yes. Saturday the 18th, there's going to be an open scroll scroll work creation time, so that if you didn't go to the class, you can still come in, and you can learn from the people. It'll be self-directed, and you can we'll have the glue guns available, and you can st continue to work on your pieces and just take your skills to the next level. So that's very excited. I anticipate that we will have many more classes coming in the future. A jewelry, uh, jewelry making class is also being discussed. What are we going to talk about here? I'm uh, going to talk. I'm going to segue here. Okay, We're going to get out of Swanton and go to Enosburg real quick. Oh, I haven't been to Enosburg. Enosburg in a while. Opera House presents Warm Your Spirits Winter Series. Save oh, the dates. When is it? When is that? January 31st at the 1906 House. I hope that I'm pronouncing this. It's the 1906 House. It's like two doors down from uh, the opera house okay. is what I was told. Um, there's live music, um, cocktails, cash bar, featuring, help me, I'm, I apologize, I had a Helian or Hellion consort with Sarah Jo Willie. Huh, no idea. Local wine. Wait. February 20th, that's January 31st. February 22nd at the Quincy Hotel Lounge. I don't know where, I don't know where that is. I'm hoping it's in Are you Enosburg. getting this from the All Arts Council? No. Did I'm, you ever see the All Arts Council stuff that Dick Harper puts out every week? It I'm, tells all the stuff that's going on, even our stuff. Is that still an ongoing thing? Yeah, he does it every week. I don't, I've met Dick. I know Dick uh, through the Highgate yeah, all Arts Summer Council. Series. Yeah. But I don't know about it. So, yes, we can, you can go there. That's another source of information. But look at the March 18th one. March 18th? 242 Texas Barbecue featuring Scott Martell and Grace Kelly. Oh, that's nice. That's so yes. nice. It's exciting. One other yes, thing. If you send me that information, I'll put it on our calendar. Okay. I will do that. Yeah. I just got it this morning. Okay. Excellent. Um, one other thing real quick. You know uh, Jay Fleury? I do know Jay Fleury. But we have one other th we have another class that's might be two other classes that might be coming this up. This is just real quick. Three. Three other classes. St. Albans Holistic Council. He has started. Good for him. And... I will be there and on January 19th. It's on a Sunday at 1 o'clock at the St. Albans City Hall. I'm going to be busy that day. I will be introducing the, our first uh, premier speaker. Oh. Nicole Lepresti is oh. going to be doing a little um, presentation on yoga. Nice. So, nice. And it's a free event, suggested donation of whatever. Nice. And can. that's at the Travel Cup? Nope, that's, no, I, oh, that City Hall? I'm going to say this again, oh, 1 o'clock, January 19th, <laughs> Sunday at the listen to you. Hall, <laughs> City Hall. I thought you might start listening to me if we and sat closer. This doesn't really work for me. So we are collect, we are got, we have some things that were donated to the Swanton Arts Council and we are looking for other items to be donated. We're looking for toilet paper rolls because we have a project to use for them. We're making scroll work. Scroll art. Scroll work. Scroll work art, to, uh, and we're also looking for dolls, big dolls, little dolls, perfect dolls, broken dolls. This we isn't for care. your creepy library doll there's project, several, is it? There's, 
there's several creepy doll projects. One of them is that Darcy has offered to help Darcy lead. Benoit Darcy Darcy Benoit from, uh, from Bees on, on Broadway. Broadway. A doll head planter, which I want one of those. I don't even like plants. Like the chia? Yeah, but only more creepy. And also a few other weird things, um, potentially. Um, Darcy's also hoping to have a workshop or a class on how to create a laundry stain stick bar. So I'm very excited about that. That'll be fun. And Marie Spear is starting to schedule a couple of barn quilt classes. So if you're interested in having a nice barn quilt for your house to put up in the spring, then now's the time. Reach out to Marie Spear. I think that's it. I mean, we talked about a lot of stuff. We laughed hysterically and we had to be, keep getting back on track. And we talked about politics and we talked about, you know... Uh, I can you address? I mean, you don't have to because I know you don't. You you're one to always stay away from controversy. I'm so politi- I, I'm very politically correct. Yes, yes or no? Is the Vermont no, not the Vermont? <laughs> is the Swanton Arts Council us? We're taking over the library, the town, the state. What is it? Well, some people feel that we're taking over. What? Um, I don't understand. I think everything's better with a little bit of art in it, but obviously we're scaring some people. Uh, but there are rumors abounding that, that the Swanton Arts Council is trying to take over. Um, well, people, no, we're not trying to take over. We have taken over. Oh, no, we haven't actually taken over, but we, we do so much stuff, and so it's sprinkling over into everything. The library is a wonderful there's space. Ma- there's so, so many of we- us, and if we just happen to be involved in the... You take a job at the library. That doesn't mean that you're taking we, over. Well, they, the, no, with the library taking over rumors started way before I started working there anyway. But, I mean, it's we are a group of passionate people who We get are involved. one Swanton. I heard you sing. We are one Swanton. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we're a group of passionate people, and we get excited, and we get involved. And so a lot of the people who just happen to be members of the Swanton Arts Council are getting more comfortable with leading projects and leading different events and they're reaching out into other areas like Heather's uh, running for um, Heather is running for select board Heather Buchkowski she does she have a title right now she's currently on the planning commission okay is her uh, title is queen of awesomeness because she's awesome and she like actually cares and she shows up and she puts in the work and she tries to make things better so it's so you know that scares some people our, our, sh- our show nobody believed your little well, you can say whatever you want this whole plea to do one more show the response to it was not what, for you, had you like three was people. not for you uh, Debbie Graziano stay with Scott Karen Holly Bushwick agree Sandy Holly, so happy that no one has well, voted to kill her, her off. I, I voted, voted to, to kill, kill you off. off. I think I was the only one, but I'm the only I one take on you. your side. But this, the thing is, like, if he tried wanted. to kill me off, I would like totally take him down. Hilarious, I, Elizabeth Malone. Can we make it a Carrie Fisher death and have her live on via hologram? That would be lovely. I it's too late now. You're more. here. Well, for this episode, but, you're uh, but com- you're I mean, like, this back. episode not, ends in like one point. One minute, 59 seconds. Nancy Paquette Lucier, stay. Seconds, 56, 55. Katie Foster, when I saw this, I my heart her. cried hearing her say she was done. I was instantly uplifted when she proposed a vote to extend her stay on the show. So I vote she stays. David Winchester, stay. Well, Carl okay. Royer, I think if you check all the places it's been posted, it's way more than five. Yes, stay on the show. She is the yin to your yang. That's very disturbing. Yeah, it's very disturbing. Annie Matthew, this is a ridiculous question. Well, Judy and Scott time. are symbiotic organisms. Dr. Nancy Fuller, that I vote she stays. Wrong. Faith with little musical notes says, oh, won't you stay? Oh, well, maybe we'll have a theme song for the next episode. Uh, please. And for the February edition, maybe we'll start with you singing that We oh, yeah. Are the World esque Swanton thing. Thank you not. for watching. Happy New Year. We'll see you both. Both of us will see you in February. No, 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 no. no, no.